You see here a lot of posters of his exhibitions and it um, started very late in 1975, he was 55 years old, but then as he has his first exhibition, there was actually no place in real galleries, commercial galleries and in museums for his work. I think what happened was that there was a transition between photographers being considered photographers and photographers being looked at from the art world. Angle. If we go around this vitrine, you know, 60 meters long, we're reading it, uh, understanding the language and so over the, over the decades, this is really interesting, how everything changed and how deeply involved he was in this change. And you are now. Well, it's interesting because I looked up a lot at Helmut. When I was starting, he was already a star, so he was lucky because two things that are important in life. One is finding who you are. What do you like? What, who is Helmut Newton? And then find a publication of the level of Vogue that allows you to do those pictures. Helmut did these naked ladies that were quite groundbreaking because he did them first dress and then naked. And I think he pushed the idea that the way we've been built, whoever created us, there's nothing wrong with it, you know? We are made like this. If you are doing a photograph or a magazine, and then later on it gets into your work, then you're bringing it to the art market. This transfer, this, this switch, this is interesting. There are certain works that you do that you already know. They have an impact, but that impact has no life after the impact. But there are other things that maybe aren't the most beautiful, aren't the most perfected or the most achieved at the moment, but they linger and they have a life. And I think those are the pictures that end up in walls. When I started printing my work, I produced it in very large size. Here in the museum, it's funny because I've even done them bigger and fill up the space so that you can really almost live in that moment. Most of them were done in a particular period of my life because it's a moment that defined my style. For us visitors, it's very interesting to know or just to figure out if this is a mise-en-scene or just happening. Some are happening, some are mise-en-scene. I love it that the girls and boys in this exhibition feel very comfortable with themselves, with their I bodies, can see this you know? Picture. I see in one picture a Scorpio, so I know that you are Scorpio Me as well. Me Seeing that, it's a, um, coming to the idea that this picture and maybe the whole thing is also a kind of a sample. Totally, because in a funny way, I would have liked to be these people.